You know, doctors and scientists all agree that the best defense against breast cancer is early detection. And of course, we all know how important mammograms are, getting those annual mammograms. And there's a place here in Savannah that's doing something and taking those mammograms to a different level, South Coast Imaging Center. And joining me right now is mammographer Patricia Heron. Thanks so much for joining us, Patricia. You're welcome. Now, Patricia, let's talk about mammograms. I mean, because you know, as I said, I mean, doctors and scientists agree that early detection is so important with breast cancer. How important is a mammogram? It's very important because it will show things that the patient can't feel. Now here at South Coast Imaging, you guys are taking mammograms to another level and you're the only ones who have this new procedure and of course we, we've talked about the basic mammograms, but we're going to be talking about something called 3D tomosynthesis. Did I get that right? Tomosynthesis. Correct. Tomosynthesis. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is? It is um, a digital mammogram that allows the radiologist to see depth in the breast. The machine moves, x-rays the breast in um, layers and it's reconstructed at the radiologist workstation so that they see millimeter thicknesses in the breast. Well, you certainly have my curiosity up and I've been reading a lot about this tomosynthesis. Um, you know, I've always had the basic mammograms, the 2D. I've never actually had the 3D tomosynthesis and so my curiosity is up and so I've decided that I'm gonna go through the process right here on the southern scene uh, to make sure that I give my testimonial to this procedure. Is that okay? That, it's okay with me. What I'm doing now is what everybody gets. Okay, okay, got it. So it's gonna be the 3D and then the 2D. Okay. This is gonna move, Uh huh. and then it's gonna come back to center and do the regular mammogram. Okay. This one is compression, and you are perfect just like that. I just want you to stop breathing, please. Breathe, but don't move. Great, it's okay to move. When it makes those noises, that's when the software changes from the 3D to the 2D. If you zoom in on this and it, somebody who knows what they're looking at sees that, they're gonna know. Okay, it's been a few days now, and I'm back at South Coast Imaging for my results. And joining me now is Dr. Patty Shapiro here at South Coast Imaging. Thanks, Dr. Shapiro, for seeing me and for joining me Thank on you. the Southern Scene. Pleasure to do so. Now, you have my results today. We do. We've taken a look at your mammogram, and we're here to go over them with you today and let, explain to you exactly what we do when we're reading a mammogram and answer any questions that you might have. Okay, well, let's go. Natalie, what I'm going to do is explain to you how we review a mammogram, the things that we're looking for. So what we do is we start out and we have four views of the breast. And these are the two views that we call the CC or craniocaudal views. And then these are the two views that are called the MLO or medialateral obliques that are taken side to side. And so we start out and we look at the CC projections and then we magnify them up just to get a better look and detail at what we're seeing. And the only thing that comes out on this one is that you've got a little tiny calcification there. Calcifications are common. Everybody has at least a few calcifications and as long as they look benign, which this does, we're not worried about it. So after we've looked at the regular 2D mammograms, which is what we were just going over, then we go and we look at the 3D component of the mammogram. So what I've done is put the 2D up, and on a 2D, all of the tissue is superimposed on each other. On the 3D, what we're doing is we have gone through the breast from bottom to top with one millimeter slice thicknesses. And so what we can do is now scroll through, and we can even magnify each layer of it, and you can bring out a lot more specific detail. Oh, wow. And a lot more accuracy and the studies that have been performed and published have shown that there's a 30 to 40 percent increase in breast cancer detection. How important is this, uh, Dr. Shapiro? And, and I know that you're looking at mine. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I had the opportunity and I know the importance of doing a mammogram. Uh, how important is this uh, to our area, specifically for the women? The, there is definitely a decrease in the incidence of callbacks 
when the 3D is performed compared to the 2D. One of the things that we have found is that we've, we've been helping some of the, um, the clinics in the area that are providing it to people who don't have insurance or who are low income. And the incredible growth in the number of women who need access to mammograms that can't afford it. And we last year had more than 500 mammograms that we were doing with community health mission. And so one of the things that we've tried to do is network with the different people in the community to create a program called Share Life in 3D. And what we're going to be doing is for every 10 women that come here to South Coast Imaging to have their 3D mammogram, we're actually donating mammograms back to the community health mission to try to help cover all of these women. If you'd like more information on the 3D mammogram, and remember it is ever so important, I urge you to take the time to call the number on your screen. You can also go to the website you see on the screen as well and take the time to find out everything you need to know about the 3D mammogram and South Coast Imaging. You can also go to our Facebook page, The Southern Scene, or our website, WSAV.com. We'll make sure we put you in contact with South Coast Imaging.